Good evening. Tonight we're learning more about the 13 year old Moorhead boy accidentally shot and killed Friday night in Romkey Park and the circumstances surrounding his death. Police say the group of children with the handgun in the park were all either 13 or 14 years old. The Night Valley News team's Reed Gregory tells us why police say no charges will be filed. We have juveniles that uh, are playing around with guns and really I think that would be the main message that we'd want to get out is that guns and, and children don't mix. A memorial continues to grow as the community remembers 13 year old Zane Hussein Mezer, a young boy who passed away on June 23rd after an accidental discharge of a firearm. Devaria Simpson lives across the street from where the shooting took place. I was giving my kids a bath the other day and I heard a big old boom. I was like telling my kids to knock it off because I thought they dropped something. My two kids came telling me that somebody got shot across the street. Clay County Attorney Brian Melton says cases like this can be difficult. And in some cases, the owner of the gun is held liable. But he's made his decision on what's next legally. The appropriate charge would be um, uh, manslaughter second degree. In this particular case, uh, I've exercised my discretion in determining that uh, we wouldn't charge um, the person who, uh, who did the shooting. With no charges pending on anyone involved, Milton believes the community should view this incident for the tragedy that it was. All these kids are, are 13, 14 years old, and, and really what we have here is a tragedy uh, and not something that we're looking at this time to, to charge out as a crime. In Moorhead. Reed Gregory, Valley News Live. Horizon Middle School will be holding counseling sessions for students starting tomorrow along with providing other student resources.